Anthropic dropped a huge release. I want to get into it and I want to tell you kind of how it shapes our understanding of the players in this field because Anthropic and OpenAI are starting to take up different niches and we need to understand that. So first, what did they drop? They dropped an upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet. They did not rename it. They did not give it a new number. Again, these naming conventions are bizarre. It's 3.5 Sonnet, just like you've always known and loved, except it's a lot better. Like it's substantially better on the evals. It's way better at coding, which it was always good at. And that's gonna come back around. You'll see why in a second. And so they drop this new thing. They give it the same name for reasons I don't fully understand. They then drop an upgraded version of Haiku, which they say is as good as their old version of Opus, but much, much faster. We are starting to see that Anthropic has picked naming conventions and are going to stick to them. And so I think this may be a bit of a signal to the other major players in the field, to Google and to OpenAI, that Anthropic has more in the tank, that they are not releasing a new named model deliberately, and that this should be viewed as a waiting game release to continue to gain market share where they play best. And that gets to the strategy here. So Anthropic is about a quarter of the size of OpenAI, but their API business is much stronger. Their API business is growing much faster than OpenAI's API business and is on pace to overtake it. So year over year, OpenAI, uh, OpenAI is doubling its API business and they're over a billion dollars. Well, Anthropic is at somewhere around a $700 million run rate, but they're growing 5X year over year. Like they're growing much, much faster on that API side. And that is why in their press release, they highlighted the dev tooling capacities. They made Sonnet better for coders. They made sure that they called out how dev tooling is affected by their new experimental computer screen usage. And this is, this is the big thing, right? They are going to let Claude Sonnet control your computer screen. It's the first hint we've seen of where these agentic workflows are going to go. It's still in public beta. It's not fully released yet, but people can access it and use it. And the use case they call out is developer friendly. They are saying that Replit is using this in Replit Agent, which is their AI builder, to help user acceptance testing for things that users are building. So that the Replit Agent actually goes and like tests it on a screen the way you would. Um, and improves the quality of the code that way. So they're doubling down on their API positioning. I think that's smart. It differentiates them from OpenAI. They are not changing the name for th reasons I don't fully understand, but it is a big release. Uh, it's substantially better on the coding evals. We'll have to see how it looks in the wild, uh, but I'm excited to play with Sonnet 3.5, the new version, uh, new and improved, right? So let me know what you're doing. Let me know how you're coding. Cheers.